Hi there, Derek Hagan here. I'm a financial therapist, financial planner, and life coach specializing in meaning in life, mindfulness, and resilience here with another Meaningful Money Memo. Let's get to it. Let's talk about how our negativity bias impacts our resilience and how gratitude can help combat that. So let's think about how most of us operate most of the time. There's a lot of good going on in our lives, and there might be a little bit of bad, but what do we focus on? What do we focus on? We focus on that one bad thing, and it ruins our day, doesn't it? We see this one thing because we feel like, sometimes, that we deserve to have no problems. So when we have this problem, we really focus on it, we ruminate, we dive right in, and that's really all we think about. This is the negativity bias. And author Rick Hansen talks about the negativity bias being similar to this. Your brain is like Velcro for negative experiences. This one bad piece of information sticks to your brain. You're going to spot it more. You're going to notice it more. It's going to stick around longer. You're going to remember it more. And the good things over here on the right, the good things are like, your brain's like Teflon for those. So those don't stick around. It's like we expect them. So we don't notice it. Now, this negativity bias, there's a lot of evolutionary reasons for this. And that is we can't be right all the time. If I see a stick, but I think it's a snake, I might run away. Okay, so this is seeing something that's neutral. Or I might even see an opportunity, but I view it as a threat. That's the negativity bias. This is it. I'm going to be more likely to interpret something neutral or positive as a threat. And if I do that, if I see that stick, but I think it's a snake, then the worst thing that's going to happen to me is I might run away from a stick. And then I might get embarrassed. But I survive until tomorrow to get embarrassed again. Okay, that's negativity bias. That helps us survive. Your ancestors, they had this negativity bias. Those distant relatives that were like this, the opposite, they didn't survive to become our ancestors because the opposite is if I see a snake, but I think it's a stick. If I see a threat and I think it's neutral, if I see a threat and I think it's an opportunity, that's a game over situation. I don't necessarily survive. I'm out of the game. So there are reasons that we have this negativity bias. But we're not in survival mode anymore. We're not living in caves. We're not living in tribes. So we still have the brain that focuses on the negative. So what happens? Or how can we combat that? Gratitude is how we combat that. And gratitude is paying attention to what you have, to all the good things that are going on in your life. Because here's a fact. What you have is what you used to want. What you have is what you used to want. There's a lot of good going on in your life. We just don't notice it. So gratitude... Gratitude is the antidote to the negativity bias. This is when we turn our attention away from all the things that are going bad. I'm not saying ignore the bad things, but we can focus our attention on areas that are going well. We can reach out to all the people that are there to support us. We can reach out to other resources that we may have. But if we can remind ourselves that what I have now is what I used to want, it gives me permission to be grateful for what I have. And this impacts resilience. Because if I am stuck in negativity bias and all I can see are the bad things, all I can see is the bad stuff, then when a negative event happens, and I've ignored all the positive events, as time goes on, I'm not getting any better. That's I'm not resilient. But if I can remind myself that there's a lot going on, a lot going well, then I can become resilient. Resilience is getting back to baseline, getting recovering from a negative event. Now, if it takes a long time, we might call that low resilience. And there's normal resilience, which is a medium amount of time. And if you're a highly resilient person, you'll bounce back even quicker. Even better, you might even learn from these negative events with resilience. But negativity bias makes it difficult for us to be resilient because we're always focusing on the negatives. Gratitude is the antidote to negativity bias. Gratitude helps us become more resilient. You get one life. Live intentionally. Greetings, Derek again. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to learn more, please head to meaning.blog and there you can learn about 
all things related to money and mindset and purpose and meaning. And you'll be able to find out how we might be able to work together. You'll find more articles. You'll find links to videos. You'll find online courses. All kinds of things to get you going on your journey towards living more intentionally.